Uh, but the most exciting use for this particular item with the Casio keyboard is the fact that we can sample songs or sounds off the iPod directly into the Casio keyboard and they become permanent tones in the keyboard. So we'll show you how to do that now. So I've got this set to about three quarter volume, so that's generally pretty good. It depends on the song. Songs are recorded at all different levels with different compression levels. So sometimes the song will be a bit louder, another time it will be a bit softer. So sometimes you'll need to adjust the level. And we're not talking about a you know a six thousand dollar you know dedicated sampler either. So it's not going to necessarily be CD quality, but it, it, it's just a means of being able to record different sounds into the instrument that we can utilise. And the quality is quite good. Okay, so we've chosen our song on the iPod. There's only one button that we need to push on the Casio, and that's the sampling button. When we press the sampling button, it tells us very quickly in the strip in the screen how much sampling time we've got. Now on this particular model, we have 10 seconds total sampling time available. We've got five sampling slots, so we can either break up our sampling time into five slots, i.e. we get five two second sample slots, and sometimes it's just a sound that you want to sample, it just goes for a second, you know, it might just be a voice, you might, rather than an iPod, you might plug a microphone in and just go, yeah, wow, whatever it is, or sample your dog barking, or, or something like that. Um, it's, it's always fun to do that sort of thing. So when I press the sampling button, which is right here to the left of the screen, it says to me 10 seconds, waiting. So now it's waiting for us to press play on the iPod, which Nicole will now do. I will. She finishes playing with the camera. That's right. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is hit play. That's now done. It tells me it's sampled and it's finished. So what I can now do is play the keys and hear the sample that we just recorded. If I play middle C, I'll hear that sample at its original pitch and speed. And it just runs for the length of that sample and then it will, we have an option to set it as a loop. So if we hold the note down, it'll run over and over again. If I play a note higher than middle C, I get a higher pitch and a faster speed. If I play lower than middle C, I get the Barry White version of Billy Jean. <laughs> And it also now is a touch sensitive sample also, so it's just like all the other tones in the keyboard. If I press, press I'll turn the volume right up here so we can see this to its full advantage. If I press the key really softly, it'll be quiet. Now I can use that tone however I want. 